Okay. Um, do you want to ask that very quickly, Richard? Sure. Um, first of all, could you tell us what your um, targets were for the mandatory element of the contract? Well, A3's targets, the, the, the average, because they did vary slightly from different... Uh, Sorry, could you speak up? Sorry. Um, the average um, works out just under 32%. So 32% uh, of what? 32% of the, of the mandatory starts um, into work. I'm sorry, can you, can you explain that more clearly? You're saying that the, the target was that of those who were within the mandatory cohort, yep. you were to get 32% of them back into work. Correct, yeah. And of, of those whom you were supposed to get back into work, this 32% of the cohort, yep. what did you achieve against that target? Um, our cumulative to date, um, we are on, I think it's uh, just over 15%. So less than half the actual target? Yes. Right. And what about you, Mr. Melvin? Uh, it's a very similar story, I mean, slightly dif differentials in different contract areas, but um, we're around about half as well. What, what, was your, uh, what was your target and what did you achieve? Um, our target, I think, uh, was somewhere in the area of 30% and we achieved somewhere around 14 Which areas of the country are we talking about here? Uh, we've got three contracts in London and one which covers Cambridgeshire and Suffolk. Right. And how many contracts do you have, Mr Marsland? Uh, we have five contracts. You have five contracts and you have three, so it's a total of eight contracts. And do the percentages for each of the contracts vary? So it might be, for example, 31% for one of them and 32 for another and 29 for yes. a different one? Marginally, right. but it, it, not, yes, in those sort of, at that level, not, not hugely. Right, okay. Um, so, Mr. Melvin, you said you had three contracts in four, London. Four, sorry, three in London. And three in London, yep. okay. And uh, one in Cambridge. Cambridge and Suffolk. Yeah. Cambridge and Suffolk. And that's a joint one, is it? Cambridge and it's Suffolk? Yes, that's, that's counted as one area. So yeah. you've got four altogether. That's correct. And for each of those four, which were the four in London? Were they different London boroughs, or how, how does it...? The three um, in London cover South London, um, which is all the way from uh, Hounslow around to Bromley. Um, we have West London, which is from uh, uh, Ealing up to Harrow, and North and North East London, uh, which is Haringey, Enfield, Walthamstow, uh, that area. Okay, and then Cambridge and Suffolk was the whole of the counties of Cambridge and That's Suffolk. That's correct. Right. Yeah. Okay, for the London South one, what was your target? What was your target that you were expected to achieve? I don't have the exact figures with me. What about for the West and Ealing one? I've only got the, um, the, the average for all of them. And the average for all of them was 32%? Yeah. But you could supply the committee with broken of down course, numbers for yeah, each of the... Very happy to. What about Mr Marsland? Do you, for your, for your, which were your five contracts? We have uh, Cornwall and Devon. Yeah. And the uh, target for that was 31.26%. Uh, and what did you achieve? Um, I think I've only got our actual performance um, aggregated. Well, let, uh, start by listing all five. You had Cornwall and Devon. What were the other four? Cornwall and Devon. What were the others? Um, uh, North and Mid Wales. North and Mid Wales. Uh, West Yorkshire. Yeah. Um, South East Wales. Yeah. And Surrey and Sussex. Sorry, in Sussex. Okay, 31.26% for Cornwall and Devon. What about North and Mid Wales? What was the target there? 31.82. Uh, 82. What about West Yorkshire? 31.62. Yeah. And South East Wales? 33.3. And Surrey and what was it? Surrey and where? Surrey and Sussex. Surrey and Sussex. What was the target there? Um, interestingly, with Surrey and Sussex, because we actually inherited that contract from a provider that um, uh, went bust. Um, and their target that they put forward was 50%. What was the provider that went bust called? Instant Muscle. Sorry? Instant Muscle. Instant Muscle. And they their went target was 50%. That was, that was the target that they did. And you yeah. inherited their target? Yes. You just took on the contract and agreed at the time you took on the contract that you'd keep their target? Or was uh, that just part of the deal? That, that you was part of the deal. Yes, okay. so you did, it. did so it forward that that was perhaps a little bit okay. stretching. And for yeah. Cornwall and, and, and for each of those five then you, you've just given me the target figures. What were the actual achieved figures for each of the five? 
Cornwall and Devon. Bear with me one second. We're just talking mandate route at the moment. Um, yes. Sorry, in Sussex, uh, 13%? 13. 13% yeah. yeah. against 50% target? Yeah. Wasn't very good, was it? What about South East Wales? South East Wales, uh, 12%. This is his cumulative to date. West Yorkshire? Uh, 14%. 14 against 31 target. Yeah. Uh, North and Mid Wales? Uh, North and Mid Wales, 13%. Yeah. Devon and Cornwall, 16%. Right. So, in most cases, less than half what you were supposed yeah. to get. Now, Mr. Melvin, you're saying that for those three in London and for Cambridge and Suffolk, you don't have those individual figures in the way that Mr. Marsland does? I don't have the targets, no. I have got... Um, you, I'm talking about the actual performance. I have got the actual You've performance. You've got the actual performance. Yeah. So what was the actual performance for London South? The actual performance for London South was 9%. This is 9%? Yep. Yeah. London West? Was 9%. London North? Was 7%. And Cambridge and Suffolk was 10%. And that was against an average of a 32% target. Yeah. But you can supply us with the individual targets for yes. each of those. Yeah. Well, if you could write to the committee that, that would be, that'd be very helpful. Right. That make sense. Well, that's, that's quite illuminating. No, that's um, the math doesn't yeah. make sense there. But if your overall average was 12, I think. 15%. 15, I don't, and each of the individual averages is yeah. 9, 9, 7, and 10. That's impossible. The reason that there is a difference there is the overall average people have includes the voluntary group, which um, oh. is, is in addition to the mandatory group, which are the figures. Did ask, Mr. Melvin, just for the involuntary figures. Sorry, I've misunderstood. Uh, I've just, can I just, I'm, I'm so sorry, and, and just for the benefit of the committee, um, you mentioned the possibility of, the, you know, so that you don't go bust and so forth. Just, just for clarity, um, you're actually a large company, aren't you? Um, we are a company which turned over last year some 80 million pounds. And, but, but in, d just to be clear, looking at read in partnership, as I understand it, um, You've got a combined value of the contracts that you have uh, with the uh, um, about of about 400 million, isn't that right? In terms of the order book, mm -hmm. yeah. So not much chance you're going bust in the near future. Eh? Well, you are also quite a large company. I think I'm right in saying so. Is that right? Um, mm -hmm. Well, we turned over and lost 146 million pounds. So like I think you've got to speak a bit louder for us to be able to hear it. <laughs> yes, we turned over 146 million 146. last year. So I don't. And of which the contract? Go on. Which the contracts are what? Yeah. Very quickly, Richard, and then we can. We've Mel kept you for long term. Mr. Melvin, can you just say what is the total value of your contracts with the government? Um, in terms of order book, so the, going forward over a number of years or, or in a given year. And what, what is it at the moment and what is it going forward? Well, going forward, um, it's somewhere in the region of £200 million. Pounds. Mr. Marsland, what's the total value of your contract and what's the average profitability? Um, sorry, what was the first question? The total value of your contracts with the government? I would probably estimate probably about £500 million. And the profitability? That's over, over, five, over five years. And the profitability? Um, well, last year we made uh, just over 5% profit. What level of profit? Operating profit, nothing on? Uh, that was um, uh, EBITDA, so that was after, after tax. And, uh, 